Why did I have to say it like that? What better way to express myself than with stupid voices? Oh, I remember this thing! I remember this thing! It was the box go. It's a meme. Why am I saving? I just started. Let's let's start the day with a good old fashioned Dylan puzzle. What do you think? Puzzle game. Hell yeah. That's not what I want. Where is it? Give me this one. Let's do a puzzle. With Ghost Boy. You'll see how sick I am at these. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Shit. No! Oh, no, I was so close! Damn it! Hmm. Oh my god, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Oh, it's brutal. Let me try this. Okay, hold on. No, I got this. I got this. It's easy. This is baby mode. It's all a test. Just to make sure you're all paying attention, chat. When I inevitably get this perfectly, and you just have to... You just have to accept that I'm great. Where's this corner piece go? Never mind, I figured it out. There we go. Get that in there. Get that in there. Get that in there. That in there. Yep. So close. So close. Almost got it. <laughs> Please. Oh. Got it. I got it. I did it. See? Easy. Easy clap. I'm I'm am I'm sick. In fact, I'm feeling another one. Oh, that's a that's a great puzzle. Uh, I'm totally going to be able to figure this one out. Yep, I know exactly what that piece is. That piece is a uh, bottom corner, of course. Didn't you know? Why didn't you know that? Thought I trained you in the arts of puzzles, chat. Wait, what was that for? Down here? Hmm, no. There we go, make it all slide around and have a good time. What goes to the side of that one? It's, it's so pixelated, I can't tell. This isn't correct, is it? Of course that's not correct. No, I see. No. There we go, that should do it. No, it shouldn't. Fuck. Oh, uh, which piece did I need again? Uh. Uh. uh <laughs> oh boy. This one's not very good. This is not a good puzzle. Alright, I need you to go in the right spot. Pretty please. Pretty please. Okay. Right spot achieved. Maybe? Yes? I think this one goes in the bottom corner. So I need to get that here. Uh... Gah. Gah. Oh, there we go. I'm sick. Well. I'm um, something, alright. <laughs> no! No, I had it! It's just this piece. Ah, oh, shit. Now what? Yes, perhaps. 
It could be. It just might. There you go. Okay, to be fair, that puzzle sucked. <laughs> that was that was a mess. All right, enough puzzles. Enough puzzles. I'm too big brain for this. Can't be using all my mental stamina on that. Good thing there's like 60 of them. You ready to watch that 60 times? <clears throat> all right, let's do the usual. Break the piggy bank. Get $77. Open the closet. Get nothing, as usual. Check the TV. Horrifying, as usual. Check the computer. Fantastic. What I expected. Let's go back to the laughing room. What do you say, chat? That sound good? Anyone want to see the laughing room again? No. No. Set phaser is too fun. Where am I going now? A wasteland with a boat. I hated the laughing room. It was freaky as hell. Red street light. Okay, now what? Right until the post. The post. The laughing room is... I, I don't even know how to describe that. <laughs> I really don't. I don't see a post. That one. What, that, what do you mean that one? That one? This one? The big one? The laughing room is an experience. Oh, hell yes it was. It was funny? Well, of course it was. That's why he was laughing. You mean you, you, you don't you don't laugh at things? You only laugh at things when they're funny. You don't laugh at things when they're not funny. Funny haha. -ha. Okay, now what? Prepare me in advance, for I must go. Up and then left at the crossroad. <clears throat> and then? Ah, uh, the awkward, nervous laugh. Yes, the classic. Like below the road, though. What just happened? Okay. Uh, here's the vault. Here's Koishi's eye if it was a, a pear or a green cherry, I guess. Not that one, but go on anyway. I have no idea what happened, but I, I, I interacted with a, something on the ground and then uh, now I'm here. Nice flowers. Hey, it's a vile plume. Chat, what's that, what's that flower called? That uh, vile plume's based off? It starts with an R, doesn't it? Koishi's eyes blue. I forgot. Rafflesia. What's it do anyway? Is it just a stinky flower? I don't actually know what this thing's like existence in the wild is, other than that it's 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 an oh stinky. It stinks when it blooms, nice. Good flower. Eats buggos. Attracts bugs with rotting scent. The dying breed, I think. I would die too if you smell like that. Oh, okay, so we have a few things here. We got a rainbow plant, a rainbow plant, and a and a broken jack in the box. All right, chat. It's time to become one with the clown. All right, well, the clown wasn't supposed to take me to the sewer basement dungeon. But then again, I should have known better than to trust a clown. All right. All right, well. Oh, is that a mandrake? Hi. Or is it mandragora? Whatever the fuck it is. 
It screams really loud and makes your head go pop. What are you? So you're Satori's eye. You have a part-time job as a... Uh, gardening. Okay. See, that one is the right color this time. I'm not crazy. They're breeding- they're, they're planting broken hearts. It's it all over again, but nobody has asked me for any penis enlargement pills. Colors are still wrong. No, 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 no. It's close enough. It's not blue and yellow. No, 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 no. Close enough. Is this Undertale? Whose heart is this? It's just... There's a few hearts in here, actually. See, there's Orin. And there's... That's Koishi, of course. You know, the sound of this, uh, area... It's just like... Oh. It's good, I like it. It's good white noise. Every time I play this game, I'm always exhausted and tired. And that's probably gonna end up happening, because this game does put me to sleep a little bit. Just with its ambience. But I surprisingly feel refreshed. It's enough to really pay attention to what's going on. I I I I, I drank the liquid chat. And it's a beautiful night out there, huh? Doesn't it just make you want to scream? It is about dreams, yeah. No, 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 this is a lot about this game that kind of kind of puts me to sleep in a good way, not a bad way. I guess we're on a date with a... with this thing. Never thought I'd see the day. Alright. Amanda Gorda Root. Yeah, it's good. You can go back now if you want. Yeah, I can go back. Alright, let's drink more of the weird green juice. Is this thing okay? Alright, well, that's weird. This is an interesting area. There's not really any connections. It's just a, a long pathway to that. Which is fine. Don't get me wrong. Not everything needs to be completely sensible. But that's just surprising how much that little plant took me to. Interesting world. Now, what was the one that took me here, anyway? There you go. Yeah, just a little plant on the side of the road took me there. Should go right from that entrance. Okay. Hmm. Christmas time is coming up, and I'm almost done working for a bit. So, pretty great. Except work is... Slow, painful, boring, exhausting, all the above. Uh, I went right and I found the plant again. Hmm. <clears throat> this staircase. This adorable fella. <clears throat> yeah, just a couple more days and I'll, I'll be done, which is nice. Eye guy. Is that the eye guy? The one I've been warned about? Notorious bastard. There you go. Remember this area? I think I remember Doot Horns. Oh, this place. Yeah, I remember this place. 
Welcome to the dirt mounds, I guess. I don't actually remember what I did here when I came here, though. Go to where you went to get the rain effect. Um... I'm sorry, but I don't know where that is. Ooh, that's... Oof on that one, ditto. For me, Christmas is, mo is just immediate family. That's all. Which is nice. No extended. How could I forget? Do you know? It's in the middle of some plants. What am I doing? Uh, what we do on Christmas is our mom comes and gets us and we go down to her house in the morning, get our presents, hang out with the family, and then we have lunch. Uh, we have our we have our dinner at lunchtime because it's just it's still fine at lunchtime, and then we get leftovers and we bring them home. It's a nice casual event, really. We don't really do anything massive or super special. It's just a nice time to go back home, really. It's a good excuse to go eat mom's cooking again. Because let me tell you, your mother's cooking is way better than you probably remember it. Especially when you're making your own shit. That should be nice. I, I don't know what I'm looking for. I mean, I know what I'm looking for, but when you tell me that I need to find a place with a lot of grass in a world with a lot of grass, it, it's it's a bit hard. Granted, my, my method of searching is not the most practical. I tend to kind of stray off the path and end up accidentally looping like an idiot. Wait, 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 wait. This thing, right? You gotta go through here? Yeah, and it changes the world, right? I can show you the world. I don't think it did anything. Well, at the very least, Turtle, I'll probably be here around that time. So I can say happy birthday. It was next to that. Ah, fuck. My mom had her moments where she couldn't cook certain things, but that's fine. No, uh... It was next to that. Hold on, so don't go through it? No, that's a house. That's that thing. So I do have to go through it. Slendies in there. Yeah, it'd be interesting. There? What? I went through it, didn't I? Go through the grass. I did! See? I did. I went through it. And then nothing changed. Oh, the two pillars. Not that. What? That is some shit. No, oh, here comes the fun part. Figuring this out again. I'm, I'm trying to navigate grass. It's no problem, turtle. Just glad you're enjoying your time here. I'm enjoying my time in playing in the grass fields of old poppercock here. Right now, what? Oh, I remember this place. 
I can't run them over. In this dream, I have a very green thumb. I find a cactus on the ground. Okay. <sighs> There's the yawn. It was bound to happen. All we need is some... Where, where's the vaporwave world? It's just missing Counter-Strike textures and a giant Michelangelo bust. That's all. But it's a perfect world. That's not a cactus. There it was. Oh my god. Hmm. I was actually just about to say, I found a... Hmm. Saying happy birthday, but it's not a birthday yet. Don't make me do this. You sing it, chat. Sing a song. Found it. That's not a cactus, that's a rock. Chat can't sing. Good job, chat. Okay, now it's a cactus. Touch it. I was gonna touch it whether or not you said I could or couldn't. Okay, now I'm in uh, the hell desert. Is that a bunny rock? Kinda looks like a bunny. Did not specify what to sing? That's, then you're, you're blaming me for this? You just gotta accept it. Chad has decided what they're going to do. Oh, it's just a wall. What am I looking for? Oh, that's a scary looking creature. Look at me. Look at me, you are a nightmare. Cactus are just holes in the ground. You know what? I actually see where you're coming from on that one. <laughs> it's a meatball head. He looks kind of... Well, now I'll never see him because he won't turn around. Never mind. There's another one. I want to go into his town. There's got to be way in here. He's rain and look at the cactuses. Oh... Morty. High five, bro. High five. It's not supposed to rain in the desert. They didn't burn away, they regrew. They're back to normal. And I, I can kill them on a whim. I mean, I can I can move around the rain now. Did I did it moisturize these guys? Are they moisturized boys? No, they're still pretty dry. The rains have been blessed. Yeah, froggy rains. Suiko is here. That's all. So speaking of that, I found a I saw an image last night before I went to bed. Someone drew a, a Toho inspired nexus with Reimu in the middle and a bunch of doors leading to different uh, with different designs of characters, and I thought. That would be really cool, actually. A Yume Niki style game with the Toho setting. I mean, it doesn't have to necessarily be Toho, but like, there's a lot of stuff in Toho that would make for interesting experiences in a dream. You could just have very exaggerated characters and what they're actually supposed to be based on and stuff, right? I think that would be cool, but I am not a like. What's what's what would be a good example like that? Because that you know an area like old hell would be an area. Satori's mansion, the Earth Palace, Chiriden would be a an area, and eventually you'd find your way all the way down in hell, and you'd find some overly exaggerated form of Oku.
I wait what the entrance is somewhere below I'm looking for an entrance Sumireko is essentially playing Yumeniki against Sokyo. That's true. She would be a, actually she'd be, she'd be the perfect character for that. Sumireko being the main character would make a lot of sense for that. Just in terms of immediate lore. I'm Oku, but she's just a bird. No, she'd have to be a really imposing bird, because she's supposed to be she's a raven that swallowed the Yadagarasu, right? So she'd be really, really imposing. These aren't cacti, these are hands. Yeah, they're just trying to help me out. They're trying to get me out of the desert. They're lending me a hand. Just a round floopy bird. No, it's gotta be surreal. That's what makes Yume Niki interesting. Well, I mean, you can have cute shit too. Don't get me wrong. You, you can just make her a big floof bird. Right, but she's just a cat. Yeah. Just a cat. I'm sure Rumi would have something in there. Chad, who do you think the scariest Toho character would be if you met them in real life? Who would be the scariest? Rumia? Rumia is a good answer, actually. Rumia kind of scares me. Any of them because they look weird in real life? Hey, a boat. Is that a crab? Yukari? Yukari would be pretty scary too, yeah, but... <clears throat> Yukari would at least be civilized. Rumi is canonically a man-eater. Yeah, Yukari eats people too. Wait, what? What is that? Is that a roach? Is that a cockroach? Yomu? Yomu wouldn't be scary. Yomu would just be a person with a ghost hanging out near. It would be the ignorant yokai you'd want to be you'd be afraid of. Nobody cares in Gensokyo that yokai eat people because they accept it as the norm and they just know that they themselves are exempt from any of that. So it just is what it is. You've got to accept it. Entrance is up from Crabbo. There's a few crabs though. Dead fish. Dead fish. Dead fish. Dead fish. Why should a roach have to die for your sins, chat? Yep. Humans in Gensokyo are untouchable. That's the rule. However, that's why most of the uh, lesser yokai hang out in the places where the barrier is weak. So they can get the jump on uh, people who get spirited away. It's kind of gruesome, but it's not a part of it's not part against Sokyo you really hear or learn about because it's well, it's a little bit morbid, right? All the characters are cutesy and fluffy and fun and happy, but there's it's not a very happy world in the grand scheme of things. I want to get into your little village. If you get spirited away and end up at the shrine, you're safe. However, if you get spirited away elsewhere, you're probably fucked. Seems we agree on Rumia. Rumia being the scariest. But I think she's only the scariest just because... Well, she wouldn't give a shit. Flandre, actually, I think would be the scariest. I can't get through. Another roach. <clears throat> you think it's a prison? It looks more like a village to me. I just don't know how to get in it. No, Yomu, Yomu wouldn't do anything to a human, though. Flandre wouldn't really give a shit, and she would probably do something. I mean, Flandre and, uh... Flandre and what's her face? Romelia also, they eat humans. Well, they, they drink blood, but pretty sure most of Flandre's dishes that are prepared are meat based.
up from the middle part of the crab area. The middle part. The middle part. Like here? Where this crab is? I found another crab. Somewhere there, yeah? Okay. Aha! We're in. Let's go, Let's go visit the meat people. Yes! Hello, meat man. I wanted the rain to stop so I could see him better. This guy is very, very dried out. Can I purify you? Alright. These NPCs are kind of kind of creepy looking. They're like incredibly dried out to a point where they're a little bit scary. Honor is pure mildly insane in a number of fan games. Fonda isn't really insane. It's more like she's socially inept because she's been locked in a basement for most of her life. Because she's, but so because of that, she doesn't really know a lot of things. I like to see her as curious and having too much power that she doesn't know what to do with it. Why are you in here doing what I'm doing, Chad? It's me. I came all this way. What kind of blue? What? Can I play? Trumpet? Oh, yes. He put headphones in to ignore me. He put headphones in to ignore me. That's not cool. Do you like pangies? Do not wake up. Do you like wolf? Oh, he muted me again. It's a gamer. Use lantern. Oh no. That was the incorrect decision. This man is still going. Even after being... Can you... Okay. Can you even compare to this level of gamer right here? This man's entire house is one up in flames. His entire body is charred to the bone. And he is still playing that game. He can't even see what's going on anymore. But he's committed to the cause. I'm impressed. Color me impressed, dog. You put headphones on? That's right. Now you gotta listen to my music. I will make you turn around when you're gaming. Well, I thought my entire house being on fire would make me turn around. Not this guy. Oh, he's fucked. Yeah, I, I, he's dead. There's definitely a desert area, so yeah. They probably... They, so these people are just... They're all dried up and burnt. Wonder what the the goal here was. I'm not an arsonist. Chat is an arsonist. I think this is the exit. Yeah, could be careful of that. I mean, chat. If if my house was on fire, the stream would still be going. That's just how it's got to be sometimes. Can't have those gamer moments that the stream's off. You suggested it? No, 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 no. No, you see this is... Wait, there's two? I touched it. I don't know what it is, but I touched it. Ah, nuclear winter, of course. How you doing? You okay? 
He's not going to look at me. This is a door, isn't it? This looks like a door. Do you feel cold, chat? Or do you feel sad? What does winter do to you? No, I want to find Mr. Gamer. Now they're frozen to death. Got some sads and happies in chat. Yeah. I think that Snowfall is a pretty heavily used... Dude, really? Really? You're still going. Alright, no, that's fine. When it makes me happy but the having just sully from the constant holidays during that time. Retail has turned me into that gremlin as well. I'm a hobgoblin. When you got a game, you got a game. It's true. You know who? Baba boo. He doesn't care. He just does not give a shit. There is nothing in this world that will prevent him from playing that game. Okay, so I imagine this changed something of importance. The question is what? Two different cultures at once. Around here, it's pretty much just Christmas. That's the only one you hear about heavily. It's not to say people don't celebrate other things around. But, uh, yeah. So what am I looking for now, boys? Retail has just turned me into a bit of a Grinch, that's all. Same songs, same deal. Same customers. Whoa, who are you? Let me, let me. It's a Jawa. <laughs> Maybe I'll play music. Speaking of that, has chat seen the, uh, did the new Star Wars come out yet? Has anyone gone and seen that, if it is out? It is out. New Star Wars has come out. Haven't seen it? I don't know anything about it. Don't care about Star Wars. It's pretty bad. Uh-oh. See, I don't give a shit about Star Wars either, but... I watched episode 7 in theaters, and I was like, okay. And after that, it's just been a downward spiral of criticism. And, uh, yeah, I don't watch it anymore, but it continues to happen every year, and I'm getting very curious as to how this one's going to go, because it's supposed to be the last in this new trilogy, right? This is part number 9. I don't know if Vinny came out feeling the same way he went in. That's unfortunate. I didn't mind Star Wars, the original. I liked Star Wars 4, 5, and 6. They were interesting to me. 1, 2, and 3 were okay. I didn't mind them. I know they're very, uh, they're kind of, kind of weird, but I'm not really huge on Star Wars anyway, so I thought they were okay. I did think that 2 was pretty shitty, though, especially how during the, at least I think it's during, all the, all the scenes where it's like, oh, we're in the clone coliseum, they had a crab, it's no crab. We're in the... Coliseum with all the clones and Django Fett's here. Oh, a whale. And then it cuts to Anakin and Padme just having hee hee ha ha Romeo Juliet picnic moments. It's like, wow. Yo. Friend? Friend? <laughs> Woo! Slide with me, Pangy. Fantastic. Oh, this is just the penguin's house, then, huh? Oops, I mashed too hard. It's okay, no. We're all friends here. Nothing else to do in this version of the world. 
Wait, so does that mean... Does that mean I missed something in the village in the sunny sun 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 sun? Now there's a bunch of crabs and dead fish. Weren't these boats earlier? This is Snom's home. Snom lives in the snow desert. I need to make a friend. Didn't lighting that guy on fire do enough? I need to find that place again. Oh, speaking of food. You guys ever heard of French Toast Crunch? You need to find the cloaked man in Sunland. Oh, I found him in Winterland. Well, my store doesn't carry French Toast Crunch, and it's my favorite cereal ever. And then my mom went out shopping today with Christian, and when I came home, there were three boxes of French Toast Crunch on my counter. So, thanks, Mom. I don't know where she found them, but she got me three boxes, and that's one of the best Christmas presents she could have gave me. I love that stuff. Wait, what? Oh, it's Roach Boy again. So here's him. How do I get back in here again? I like cereal. I like that cereal. It's been a while. Fruit Loops suck. Fruit Loops are okay. I don't mind them. You know what cereal I really don't like? Count Chocula. To me, he tastes more like Count Chocula. Sour Patch Kids cereal because it's my favorite cereal of all time. I've heard of it. I've heard of Sour Patch Kids. I mean, but I've never heard of the cereal. Apple Jacks right out of the box. Apple Jacks always look good. Do you know the Kirby? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Phoenix Corb. Fire. Yeah, I guess it, it does. Yeah, doesn't it? It does have those uh, Phoenix wings to it. Hard to notice because you're constantly on the sideways version of the, the screen. You don't actually get to see it face forward. Cornflakes? Yeah, that is pretty boring. Damn, what, corn, what does the cornflakes box have that's exciting? It has a green rooster. Ooh. I can't wait to eat the green rooster flakes. That's delicious. Mmm. Yum, 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 yum. I like Raisin Bran, though, so maybe I shouldn't talk. Granola bars are usually the way to go, yes. Uh, cereal just takes more time to prepare, really. That's what happens. Cereal's not big in the EU. Oh, there's so many different types of cereals in North America. There's so many more. Every basically straight down from Cloak Boy. Oh, god damn it. Basically, every cereal known to man. Has a chocolate version to it. Now that I know what to do, I cannot find him. All right. Here's the bit of a problem. I'm lost. Went right past it? Oh. That's good. Found it. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. There's the penguin's house again. I want to go in there. I want to get a helix fossil. Hey, now. Hey, now. What's this? That's some construction. I can't even get in there. No, hold on one sec. Remember center of the Crabbo. I, 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 I don't know what that is anymore. The 
This must be infuriating to watch when you know where to go, but you cannot convey it in a way that I understand. Oh, I did it. Never mind. The center of gravity. We did it. Now we gotta activate the sun world again. I have no map. I have no guide. I am but a foolish boy. Mapping out your dream sounds hard. Alright, we're back in the, the desert. So now I have to find a dude in the desert. Should be right from the back of the entrance to the village. There we go. Right to the back. <laughs> the map says gamer's room. Well, it's true. You see how hardcore that dude was? I will never reach his level. I don't think anyone will. I bet he streams on Twitch. I bet he's got partner. The bastard. Hey, look, I'm back. The dude was ninja. <laughs> Twitch probably banned him because you set his house on fire. Wouldn't I be banned first then? God damn it. I don't know where he is. Hmm. Oh, there's the exit. was on his channel the back of the entrance what what do you mean I did a full loop brother not the side but but the building is entered from the side hey I found him you now have a cloak instead of whatever the hell you were wearing last time so what do I do am I am I stabbing death Or do I have to burn him too? Oh. Go in. There's nothing to go in. Um. Go in. <laughs> what do you? What do you mean? Go in the place next to him. Between the fences. Oh. Hold on. Yeah. Let's revive him with some fairy magic. Well, can't say I didn't try. I'm going in. Jesus. Oh no. The screen's tearing. <gasps> nice boat. Nice boat. Nice boat. Nice boat. You told me to chainsaw him, and then I ended up setting him on fire. Does this work? I'll be damned, it only cost 10 cents. Now I know that it only cost 10 cents, but I kind of feel cheated. Are those holes or sea urchins? What's going on here? It's the Saiyan Sen. I hope I can get Byakuren's autograph. Hey, this looks suspiciously like the guy's house I set on fire. Well, seems safe to sleep here. I didn't pay for the drink. Cost me ten. Ten wing wangs. Ah, good. <laughs> I 
Not a filler arc, a fire arc. Good night, everybody. Get out of the bed. No, I'm tired. Five more minutes. So Noah arc and Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, that's Shinto's arc. That was Noah's card, which is kind of funny when you think about it. Hold on, chat. I need to be prepared for anything. There we go. I'm now drum. This does nothing! Well, now what? School day's final episode was a nice boat. Yeah. High School to Dead's last episode was a shopping mall. Now that show will never come back. Go back to bed. Fine! Man, you told me to get out of bed. You told me to go outside in the rain. Then you told me to go back to bed. Now what's gonna happen? Is it gonna snow? High School to Dead sure was a show. I will admit it's a show I go back to every now and again just to watch for the pure absurdity of it. I really like the zombie genre. There's just no zombie anime. Like, it's the only kind of its kind. It's just absolutely littered with the worst kind of fan service you could ever expect. I mean, sure, even if you've never watched it, surely you know the boob matrix uh, scene. Surely you know about that one. I thought it was snowing outside, but I think it's just nighttime. Zombieland Saga does not count. Welcome to paradise. The paradise was on my boat. The goddamn boob sniper. I like how if you try to apply that in real time, it wouldn't work at all. There was a zombie episode of Panty and Stocking. Okay, fair. Is that a whale? Chad, it's the new Tuhu. The whale girl. Tip Matrix is legendary at this point. Yep. Welcome to paradise. <gasps> I knew I'd find the penguin in paradise. <gasps> They're everywhere. Well, Chad's confirmed. The only thing in paradise is penguins. And, uh, whatever these things are. One of my favorite parts about High School of the Dead is when the Kirano just turns a, a nail gun into a lethal weapon. Oh my god, look at look at this thing. Oh my god, it's so cute! <laughs> We're friends. Everyone's friends. Woo! Ugh. Spiel is a round Spiel Pokemon. His name is very basic, but it's still better than Seal. Okay, this is kind of linear. <laughs> oh, that noise tickles me bone. can mildly edit Dugong's name to get Udong. True. How do I how do I save the fish? Come here. Come here, let me help you. 
Come on. Come on. Get closer. I can't save you if you're over there. Come on, little... No, come on. Come on. Lulu is just a sheep. It's a big, round, floofy sheep. And then it evolved into dub will. How do I talk to the snake? Spiel is spherical! The fish doesn't need the life preserver. No, no, no. The life preserver needs the fish. That seems to be the end of the road here. It's just this guy. And honestly, there weren't too many... There aren't too many different places I can walk around here. There are other paths. Were there? I'll find it. I just like cute things. You'll know when it ends. Okay. Wooloo's cute. But I don't necessarily care about it myself. I like other Pokemon. Well, this path ended, and that's Life Preserver Fish. Who doesn't like cute? I don't know. We all like cuties. Wooloo was advertised too much, and Double was set up for failure. Oh, yeah. As soon as Wooloo evolved, that Pokemon became the number one hit in the PC box. Hmm. <clears throat> Top right. Top! Kick! Like the new waifu mon? Now you lay off. I like my small alien. Left? Man, that reminds me of a story. So today at work, somebody asked me where the, the donair sauce was. Donair sauce is like... The thing. It's a really, really... Really bad for you, Sauce, but it's fucking delicious. Donner. Aha! There we go. We're going to heaven now. Bagagabaraba. Oh, never mind. This is Yomu's staircase. Holy shit, look at the way that... It just, it just goes! Stairway to heaven, baby. Yes, this lady was looking for Donner Sauce, and I, I turned her around, and I pointed, and I was like... Just keep following the fridges and then turn left and you'll find it right there. And I was pointing the way she needed to go, right? I said left and I was pointing. And you know what she did? She started walking away. And then she turned right. I would have said something. But she didn't say thank you. And I'm petty. So I just let her walk. Yo, flying fish heads. I want to climb the stairway to heaven. I don't know. Oh, what the? It's like, what, what are you? Well, it would be rude to cut. Good night. <laughs> I mean, when you're on the way to heaven, there's no rush. You'll get there eventually. Dog. Damn, you're slow. You know what? Son of a bitch. These are some interesting looking stars. And there's a spaceship. And there's an airplane. Fish? Airplane? Fish plane? Flying fish? It, it looks like it exploded all over the place. 
<clears throat> oh, we finally made it. it. What? What? What are you? <gasps> Chat, it's the land of narwhals. They really are mythical creatures. In steel blocks. But most importantly, narwhals. Is that an ocean butterfly? Is that a diamond? Hold on, give me that. That's mine. No, 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 come here. That's mine. Stop running away. Snowflake too? No, it's a, it's a, that's just, it's actually something you can fish up in Animal Crossing in Wild World. It's very, very small. I believe it's called a sea butterfly. Or an ocean butterfly, one or the other. The snake is just going at it. This world is fucking massive, mate. Can I go in here? No. I am not a Viking. It's more like an Aurora. Oh, would you say Aurora Borealis? Yes. What are you? No, come back here. Wait, am I going to die if I stand here? May I see it? Hmm, no. Oh, jeez. Um. Yeah. Well, I'm going to give it to the game on this one, I suppose. It is my fault that I am now two halves of one whole idiot. Well, now I'm back to normal. My favorite, uh... My favorite steamed hams one I've seen is steamed hams, but it's a da it's a Dangan Rampa uh, trial. So whenever Seymour cuts in, he, he he shoots the bullet to break the statement. He goes, "No, that's wrong." There's a Mega Man EXE stream steamed hams. Oh, I've always seen uh I've seen I've seen the one that was a Persona Four social link. Metal Gear Solid one is amazing too. Oh, the Metal Gear Solid one? There's so many of them. What am I looking for in here? I think I got my answer. This, whoever owns this aquarium put dead fish on exhibit. Great big whale. I can't see the wall. Oh, are we going to... Yo, are we going to super heaven? Hold on. You can't just give me another staircase in heaven. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Hold the phone. What is this? All right, chat. We're going to heaven too, otherwise known as. Whoa. Gee, Frank, I don't know. It's underwater. Lantern doesn't work. Go figure. So you know how in Yume Nikki games, when you go north, north eventually becomes south. I guess that also applies. That's shrimp. You go so far up heaven that eventually you just loop back to hell. That's a rock. 
Thought it was a depressed clown. Heaven was full. Enjoy heaven too. <laughs> this is for people who may or maybe, maybe sort of achieved euphoria. Not entirely. So they're putting heaven too. Why is there just a shrimp here? I'm inside a big fish. Equip Pangy. Why am I swimming? Do I got a light? I tried. I tried to light up, uh, light up my lantern, but I'm underwater, so it doesn't work. So I'm afraid we kind of have to deal with the light source being akin to the Looney Tunes, uh, that's all folks screen. That's all folks. I don't even know where I'm going. Hey, if this is what hell looks like, uh, well, you know, maybe it's not so bad. What are you? Are you a Tynamo? That's the entrance. Equip Pengi when you find the connection. What's the connection look like? I think above animals, but below humans in Buddhism. Penguins? Looks like a leech. I don't know, dog. Chat, you ever seen a leech before? I have. They can be pretty big. I don't want that thing anywhere near me. Yeah, apparently penguins are the highest form of Buddhism. I want to achieve waddle status. Alright, here's a rock for your troubles, I guess. I try to keep a landmark in view. So I can tell when I fully loop. One that doesn't move. Two rocks, huh? There it is down there, okay. Seen jackass, you've seen leeches? I mean, I've seen one in real life. Like, in person. Fuck that. Alright, now, I don't want to sound like a negative Nancy, but if you're gonna make your world really, really big, and then reduce the player's field of vision by, well, roughly 70%, maybe consider axing one of two of those options. It's not that big? Uh, I don't know, dog. It's taking a while to do the loop. And I can't see anything, so it all it looks way bigger than it probably is anyway. Where do I see a leech? A lake? Hey, I found it. Alright, Pengi it is. Where have you taken me? What the fuck? No, I wanna I wanna air swim again. Hell yeah. We air swimming. Alright, so now I'm in the forest of dead trees that look like hands with a thousand fingers. There's your mental image. This is now Superman. Pengi strikes. A Junji Ito story. You know, there was one Jun, 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 the scary guy story that I ever saw. And it was the one with the creepy neighbor who kept, like, knocking on the dude's window at night. And was like, I'm coming over. And they kept getting closer and closer and closer to them until eventually 
dude was like, this house is fucked, can we move? And they were like, sure. And then when they were moving, the, the dude noticed the neighbor's house. Because it felt like it was constantly getting closer to them, and then he noticed the neighbor's house was like pretty much immediately on them. Gross. Um. 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 So, so this is GB, I'm a penguin, and I'm stuck in debug. So I'm in gay baby jail. Is that what just happened to me? Yes. Yes. I escaped it. I escaped it. No GBJ for me. Never thought I'd see that in something I do. Hmm. So what am I looking for in this, uh... Field of trees. What is GBJ? It's gay baby jail. Nothing as it's not done. There's a connection to Scorch Wastelands to do full circle, but yeah, you can wake up. Nice. What does that even mean? It simply means what I've just said, it's all. That door was the, uh, the way I came in from. Uh. All right, it's a meme. It's basically just a term for soft lock. Seventy nine. Nothing in the closet. A black hole in the trees. Yep, that was the entrance. Mmm, that's good. Give me some of that nightmare fuel for the dream. Oh, that's nice though. We can do shigeren or finish up wataru. Whatever one you want, brother. No, it was a dark hole. Don't worry. I don't make too many mistakes. Alright. Let's finish out what let's finish out walkthrough, okay. Laughing room. Oh, I don't wanna go back to the laughing room dog. The laughing room is so weird. <laughs> Alright, we can do the laughing room at the end. Stay with the effect. You can we can do the thing with bat to stay with the effect when you wake up. Okay. Nyvek. We'll do it at the end. First, take me where I need to go. It's getting late, so let's, uh, let's, let's, let's go. Let's go! How do I get back? How do I, like, when I, how do I get back to what, this world? It's the apartments, right? Shortcut. Yeah, I should have known. Back to the goddamn bridge I'm never gonna solve. All the way down we go. No, this isn't his first. He was here before. There's a boat like right next to it. Looking for a boat. Go back in there? What? Huh? Huh? What? Where am I? <laughs> this isn't... What? Wait a minute. 
few days. Yeah, I know. Where am I going? There's the boat. Can I trade boats with that? Now where? Cone. Wheel. Big weird door. So that would be another good area in, in, in Yumi Toho. Yumi Toho. There you go. Forest of Magic. Because it can be whatever the fuck you want and it can be real fucking weird. Yo, what the? Well, that was easy. And here I thought I had to go through that shenanigans again. Why wasn't I told about this the first time? Why was this information held withheld? No more need to do the maze. Oh, wait. Okay. Does Marissa even dream of anything? You know, Marissa is an interesting character because canonically she always... She actually practices and puts a lot of effort into her, her abilities. But she doesn't really show it off to people. Like, everything she can do is... By her own effort. Her own training. Which is very impressive. But she's not very... Even though she's is who she is. She doesn't seem to brag about that kind of thing. That's canon. Oh, really? I imagine it can get a... Uh, is basically the main character. Oh, yeah. I imagine it can get frustrating for her as a character. When... Reimu, uh, Reimu is always going to be stronger than her. Reimu has, Reimu has birthrights, basically. She has birthrights and naturally talented. Where Marissa worked for so much and is always one step behind her. I kind of feel bad for her on that urn. So Reimu basically cheats, got it. Yeah, Reimu basically cheats. Reimu will never be fast enough. That's true. But speed isn't everything. Where am I going, by the way? I made it back to the tunnels, but... Well, Tunnel 2 is blocked out, so... That's out of the question. Tunnel 4 is never gonna be... Wait, who are you? Getting Toho figures is difficult because they sell out so fast and they don't restock them. I like Reimu a lot. I like Reimu and Marissa. I think it's a... Uh, says a lot about... Zune's ability to do characters that... Despite how many he has created in his own universe... His two protagonists are never shunned out of the spotlight. Both very memorable and interesting characters. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing right now. I was told to do the thing, but now I've got multiple paths. I'm I'm gonna fuck it up if you leave me to my own devices. You know this. I'm the guy who can't plug the USB in after three tries. Because I will try to put it in. It won't go in. I will flip it around, and then it won't go in. And I'll put it back in. And it won't go in. And I'll have to look at it and then realize I had it right the whole time. Yeah, I guess it depends on your flavor of Rainbow and flavor of Marissa, right? I like Rainbow when she's uninterested. Kind of apathetic to the whole situation, but she just goes and deals with it because it's a pissing her off. Go into one. Okay, now that I am here, what happens next? Rainbow's a character that when she gets serious, it's entertaining because she's not always serious. So all those little uh, top right, all those little bit of uh, 
times that you do get to see her actually give a shit are pretty good by comparison. Where am I going? Top right. Wait a minute, what? For who will This one? Oh, not this one. God damn it. By the right place. Oh, boat travel so slow. This is the big old house that I was at where Coffee Man showed up, right? Well, I'm docking. A lot of green water. Good. You know, something about Hoenn that always interested me was that there is a town called Pacific Log. Maybe I'm not pronouncing that right. But it was just a town that was built on, like, floating platforms of wood. What kind of town is that? It's like, oh, I hope a wave doesn't come and wash my platform and completely capsize my home. It was built on a course of the reef. Really? I, I didn't know that. Is that why it can be sturdy? Do they, like, export Corsola? Like, can you fish Corsola up out of the water? I don't remember these things. Found the one who did not talk to the NPCs. It's... It's been a while. We are going to the mansion's basement. Okay. That entire town would catch on fire pretty easily, yeah. But it would also be very easy to put out because it's, it's fucking water everywhere. Really, you just need to be careful about bug types and poison types. Rotting the wood and eating the wood. There's an NPC that says so. Oh. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. Or a dead Corsola. Does Corsola even get sturdy? I don't think so, no. I think it has weak armor. Or I might be just thinking of what's its face. Natural Kirima Generator. Yeah, weak armor is the, the Galarian form. What's its hidden ability then? Are you sure Corsola doesn't get sturdy? They just yeah, detach the house from the rest of it so nothing catches fire. Generator is the hidden one, huh? So that only has natural cure. I mean, to be fair, it is Corsola. Not a lot of people know much about Corsola. How do you evolve Galarian Corsola? I think it's just level, level 38 or something like that. I don't actually know. I ended up catching one from my decks in a, a raid. years did not know Corsal exists. I don't blame them because I actually forgot Quillfish existed for a while. Let's make a really rare obscure Pokemon that's not good so nobody cares to remember them. Pretty sure the only reason Chimeco is known is because of the anime. Dust Noir learns Mega Kick but can't learn Crunch. Now that's just confusing. door works. No, it's calm there. Corsal in Gen 7 is Hustle and Natural Cure with Regenerator as an ability. Okay, I did not know that. I'm trying to get a sweet to evolve Milk Creek for a whole week and every time I beat the Battle Cafe I get a candy or something. Uh, which one are you trying to get? Because there's actually two of them that you cannot currently get in the game. And that is the Star and the Rainbow Tree. The Flower, Clover, Love, Berry, and Strawberry, you can get. I've gotten four of the five myself. But the Rainbow and Star Tree, you cannot get right now. Literally any of them. Yep. Can't tell you how many times I've gotten EXP candy extra small from that asshole. Can't learn 
drain punch, but it can learn all the others. Even though its Pokedex description says that it drains the body of everything it is before it leaves. You can find a sweet in Hammerlock. Yeah, you can find a strawberry sweet. That's the one I use for the Pokedex. That's the one a Grim Reaper, but doesn't get Phantom Force. Isn't it great? Am I, uh, am I still good here, guys? Fuko, Kingra, am I still good here? Am I just going down? Spun the wrong way and got slightly red cream in my decks now. Nice. How could you spin the wrong way? Now go straight to the next area. Was that in here, or was that down there? Yeah, oh, just go in, okay. Zangoose does not learn cut. Dragonite did not learn fly in Gen 1. Yep. The way uh, Alcremia looks when you evolve it is based on what suite it's holding, what time of day it is, how long you spin, and which direction you spin. Except if it's shiny, in which case it just has six forms. Found that one out later. <laughs> one hell of a thing, isn't it? When we are in the city, go down until you can't go down anymore. Is this the city? This looks more like a town to me. AK, okay, what you never did before. I don't actually remember. Sandwich. I have French Toast Crunch. What am I walking for? I have a bike. I'm just gonna go all the way down. This place looks familiar. Right, I found the weird room last time, right? And then I also found the White House. So this time I'm just heading south. I'm just trying to get as far down the map as possible. French Toast Crunch is a cereal. Not French Toast Brunch. Yes, damn it, I predicted it. Simpsons did it first. No idea how far down this goes, honestly. French bros. I don't know if I've ever had actual French toast before, to be honest with you. I've had French toast crackers, but they're disgustingly, st like, really, really staled. Like, that's the way they're supposed to be. I don't understand thick crackers, where you put, you put spread on them, and you eat them. It's just an awful experience. I hate that so much. French toast. Brunch. Yeah, no. Two crackers. You know, you take like uh, you take a weird cracker, and then you put uh, you put some spread on it, and you eat the whole thing, and then you you're just chewing a loud cracker. And there's some dip on it, I guess, and it's totally great. Is that a cat? That's a weird looking cat. Ma! How do I get down there? This is kind of confusing when there's no real indication. No, I tried that before. There we go. It was the third entrance. Duh. What? 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 Okay, now I'm a little bit annoyed. Loud. Hi, Oren. Bye, Oren. Is that a graveyard? Good thing pancakes and waffles are both good. You can have them in the sewer. Why does the sewer look sad? I'd open him, but I don't want to hurt him. 
So this is the last of Wataru's worlds. There's a door, a bridge, a door that doesn't open. And some other third thing down here. There's an egg somewhere in here. This is usually the case when I come in random areas. Go up after the bridge to see something cool. Should I not be down here? Ah, oh, never mind. I'm blocked out anyway. The magical blue cone has stopped me once again. There's nothing I can do to stop it. Well, that's a contraption. Looks neat, though. Alright, so the, the, the dip in the drink was not a bad idea. I'm seeing some weird stuff. Ultimately, nothing here worth... Oh, jeez. Um, yeah, that's a thing. Oh, he talks. Do I frighten you? It looks sad. I would be sad too if that's what I look like. He's trying to live his life and I'm over here judging him. Pretty wiener. Alright. Let's cross the bridge. Hmm. There's more area over there. Oh, that'd be why. Um, alright, cones. Sometimes I'm relieved when I see things that block my way, because it means I don't have to worry about exploring that. It's like when you play Silent Hill and you see how many doors there are, and you just try them all, because you need to be sure that they don't open anywhere, and you're actually kind of relieved sometimes when a door doesn't open, because there's so much room in that room that it's connected to, and you just don't want to do it. And the game tells you you don't have to do it. A better shot at you. Is this the Monkey King? This is a really interesting thing. I can't interact with it though. Night Jay. What is it? Kind of reminds me of a. Uh... Kind of reminds me of this guy, just a bit. Boom. How oh, interesting. A lot of weird stuff. You don't see it. But how? <clears throat> Those things... They sound weird when I pronounce them in English. Honey was. So I prefer to call them gyroids. There's another path back after the bridge. You mean down this way, I imagine. What'd you miss? A big weird statue. A weird fucking cat. Some scary creature in the ocean. Some traffic cones, but don't worry, I got you covered on that one. Nothing major though. And now we're in the ruins of the Monkey King. I'm here to pay my respects to a legend. Okay, this area is pretty linear, which is nice. It's always nice when they... Oh, wow, look at this one.
This is a... Uh... Wow. I don't, don't really know. Kind of reminds me of a vulture with the way its head looks. Or if you even call it that. But it's also got angel wings. What the hell is this thing? Well, chat, take it in. And let me ask you a very important question. Would you pay... Fifteen hundred dollars for a banana. Modern art. No, absolutely. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Only if it was taped to a wall. See, that's the most important part. If it's not taped to the wall, it's virtually worthless. But that one little piece of scotch tape. Oof. You got my wallet sweating. All right, now we're in the, ooh. Ooh, scary boy. No, 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 no. Hold on one second. Oh, it's the same. I'm just gonna leave this up for a little bit because I wanna take a drink. This is magnificent. This is the exact kind of setting that can put you to sleep. Peaceful music, simple scenery. It's dark, but it's illuminated nicely so your eyes don't hurt. Jelly boys. Time to ruin it. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Path behind you. I know. I'm just wondering what would make a good thumbnail image here on this screen, because this is definitely a good screen. No. Become fish. No, I want it to be centered. Well, I can center it myself, but... Kind of dark, though. I can enhance the brightness. I've done that a few times for a few different uh, pieces I've used. I changed the brightness on the submarine area to remove the fog, and it actually turned out pretty well. So, trust me. I have some simple knowledge on how to do that, at least. Alright, we'll move on now. Wait, what? Bruh. I really just got coned. I just know how to mess with brightness and contrast. Alright, now we're in the spider seaweed coral. Damn. More cones, of course. Yes. Yes. You just see the map for this world after you're done. That worries me. <laughs> kind of amazing, huh? Okay, all right. I'm you got me intrigued. The Tim Burton part of the ex exhibition. <laughs> hmm. It's a lot of weird spider trees. A lot of cones too. What's even? Okay, what's the point of this? Now, now be real with me here. I understand, yes, we use cones, we use signs, but what, why? This is not, not a good place for cone.
Do you like how you can't hear the sound of my bike anymore, though? Do you like the seaweed creatures in the bottom? More places to go. People to see. That's a ladder, but it's a staircase. Just be really sure. Yeah, they're not even going to let me attempt to cross that river. Dream is unfinished. Oh shit. How did I do that? Oh, that's not a pathway. <laughs> Watsuda really likes dark things, doesn't he? About 90% of his maps are difficult to see sometimes. And then he has that rainbow one. Feels like he made that one despite com people who make comments that like, like me. Oh, it's too dark, huh? Well, here, take rainbow flashy lights, asshole. Alright. You got me. Very dark green. Very dark. Very, very dark. Cosmic Whirl. Yeah, that one. That one hurt my eyes. Hi. Well, I guess we're going this way. Oh, this is a cute bunny. And then there's this part. This part is weird as hell. It kind of reminds me of uh, the fairy town in Sword and Shield, Balloonly, or Balloon Tea, whatever it's called. Hmm, it's good. We're walking around the forest. There's a fence. It's not so good. There's a bench. How do I get around this bench? Oh. Hmm. Welcome to the nut hut. What are you? You look kind of angry. Oh shit! I, oops. Uh, no. What? Hold on there. Now you wait one second. Balloonly was very weird, yes. Alright, I guess we're going here. Welcome to here. Hope you enjoy your stay. Never mind. We're actually in here instead. Can I have money? That was a... Ride the horsey? Let me on. Let me on that horsey. Yes! Yes! Alright, let's try and do this really fast. Oh, I hit the button by accident. Let me try the arrow keys. That might be faster. Yep. Well, that was entertaining and interactive. Well done, team. I want to go inside the fun house. Well, that was fun. As the name would imply. Who would have thought? Let's do it again. Excellent. Fun was had today. Okay, I think I know where I need to go. The T-Rex died in this playground. Oh, this dude's world's getting weird. What is that? Am I on a goose boat? This is a nice one. Is that a car? Now hold on. 
There are fish, seaweed, flowers, and a goddamn rainbow car. That is so cool. Looking for an egg? Okay. Alright, yeah, I can find egg. It's pretty, yeah. And I looped. Geese are cool and all, but in Canada it's not so fun when you go to a park and they make poop landmines. I've never actually seen a goose in my entire life. I've only heard stories about them. And that usually you are informed that when, a, when geese have taken up nest, you are recommended to stay the fuck away. Just let them do what they're gonna do, and they will eventually leave on their own. They're kind of, they're kind of assholes. Yeah, they can they can break bones. Where oh where am I gonna find an egg? I'm trying to feed the ducks, and you have this goose walking up, spreading its wings and hissing at you. Trying to steal your goddamn bread. I did it. I found it. Egg. Is this the end? If they put a nest in a trash can, you actually throw something in, they will attack you. Well, that's just fantastic. What is that in the background? What is that? We did it? We did it. We have successfully seen everything that Watsuru has to offer. Pat yourself on the back, chat. You made this happen. This was all you! Oh, wait. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's something else? Oh, fuck off. Is there really? Neon City? But. 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 Boy. We need to get the rare NPC. I already love the sound of that. Banjo. Banjo is the playable character, though. Okay. I have a lot more questions now about this. For starters, where is this rare NPC? When you say rare, does that mean he doesn't spawn unless I wake up? And what's the rates? Is it fantastic? I'm going to go play on the jungle gym. Or the horsey. We just need to walk in the city until it appears. What city? What city? The city back, way back when? Where the weird room was? It is a one and oh. It is a 1 in 2,500 chance. We need to access it from Square Square World. What is, uh, what is Square Square World?
<laughs> Not as bad as it sounds, huh? Why even make a world if the objective is that bad? Shiny Milkery Part 2. Oh no, this is Shiny Milkery Part 2 featuring not the Shiny Charm and not Masa the Method. It's almost my Shiny Odds. It might as well be combined. I average pretty poorly on Shinies. Except Red Metapod. That's cool. Get off the horsey. Fucking Lynx. Alright, what is Square Square World and... Um... Should I wake up? I guess that's what I should ask now. It's getting late. Here's a map, by the way. Ah, uh, yes. Let me see. Oh shit, this place is massive. Why are there a billion E's on it? Carnival Town. I see. And the aquarium. The aquarium is really nice though. And there's the weird room. There's another picture there in the weird room, but I saw in the doorway. Okay. Event. Event what? What? Oh, event. Is it safe to wake up? Is there any more I can do from where I am right at this moment? Or am I safe to look at my wallpapers and do a puzzle? There are event objects used to draw a sprite over the player. Safe to wake up. So you mean like the water? Is that what it is? Let's whip a puzzle out real quick though. Hell yeah, game time. The moon. Oh, this is the greatest moon I've ever seen. I'm gonna nail this puzzle. Damn it. Damn it. I did it. Let's do another one because I'm so spicy. Weird egg boys. I immediately forgot what I'm looking for. You're in the middle. Let's get you in the corner first, and then you can be untouched. And you are there. What goes at the bottom there? This one up here. Yeah. Okay. go and then you over here and up over here hmm close but not quite Yes. 
Yes, good. Good, yes. Very good. Damn it. I gotta focus on getting that one in a rotation. Yeah, good, yeah. Yeah. Sick stuff. I'm going to be so good at these by the end. I'm so good I can get another one out. Watch this. Ro Red Riding Hood. He's learning. Lower body. Oh, I just completed the bottom entirely. Yeah, actually I did. Damn. That took four seconds. Eyeball, man. That's not right, is it? That's right. That's not right? Hold the phone, what the fuck? Oh, that's why. There we go. Damn. How does he do it? In fact, he's so good, he can crank out one more. Oh, I remember her. She was, uh... She was hanging around, so to speak. Let's see. Okay, that's good. Which means that's good. <laughs> oh, he's so good. He can get another one out after that. Look at this. Easy stuff. That's cute. Is that her name? This way. Okay. Damn it. Is that correct? Is this correct? And then... What does that piece go to? Oh, that's why. That's, that's where my confusion is coming from. This piece goes over here. Now it makes sense. Okay, so where does that music note go? The music note's the corner piece, that's why. Okay. What? Okay. Sure. No, this is confusing. Is this correct? There we go. Okay. Enough of that. Enough of those shenanigans. There we go. Make it an even two hours. Let's check those wallpapers and get the hell out of here. Aw, oh, yes. Okay. What we got? Take me back to page one, please. Nothing on page one. No laughing place. Oh shit, yeah, let me get that first. I forgot about that thing. Uh, how do I get back there, by the way? 
I saw one. Sleeping on the bench with the, the, the blip blap. Oh, the, it's that thing. Nice. Who, who made this? Looks nice. A little blurry. <laughs> and there's the aquarium. Lovely. And there's one up here. Oh, it's the whale. He had quite a few in there, didn't he? And then six. Yep, we got one and six. Oh. Really? I guess coming out of that specific exit, give me the wallpaper for that. Art Gallery Visign World. Oh, right, the Eyeball World. Spookster. What was the quickest way to the gallery again? Place. The streets in Uro apartment. Oh, right, yeah, with the glasses, right? I can do that, yep. Alright, so prepare for this one if you've stayed with me this long because you wanted to see this weird ass area. Well, look no further because I'll do it. It's out here, right? Yeah. That's the void. We're looking for pictures. We're going to Ebe. We're taking the shortcut to Ebe. Nope, that's the intestinal maze. That's nothing. That's cool. That's clowns. Not not that good. This is the quickest way. Unfortunately, my luck is fantastic. Hmm, chocolate. If you know anything about Yume Niki, or yeah, Yume Niki, the, uh, the hell maze with it's just the red tubes and shit. It's basically what the intestinal maze is in this game. Because every Yume Niki game has to have some form of long convoluted red maze. Squeaky boy. <laughs> Alright, Chad, I hope you're prepared to laugh. Get your hehe's ready. Why does it only do that in this world? I gotta wonder about that. This is intentional, right? Like, this this area is intentional. Is this hell? Pretty close to it. Come on, Chad, it's funny. It's funny, you're supposed to laugh. I wasn't paying attention to the tire. <laughs> Think we are ready? Okay. Let's give it ten more hee hees. Ten more hee hees, ten more ha ha's. Ha, 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 ha. 
<laughs> yeah, that's good. I'm a bat. <laughs> Use it? I didn't. I died. <laughs> Too late? You mean we have to do that next time as well? <laughs> What happened? I broke it. That's what I did. We broke the world. We woke up with an effect, which is impossible. So the game had a meltdown. Isn't it cool? Yes, I want to quit. I wrapped up a lot of stuff. And there's still plenty more to see. But that'll be for another time. Not tonight, because it's late, as expected. So thematic with the waking up. Thank you for watching.